Bob Obobon. Okay, my first guest you all know. He's one of the most popular entertainers working today. Uh, Glenn's going to be opening in Las Vegas tomorrow night at the Desert Inn. He'll be there for three weeks, and he'll also be performing with the uh, Phoenix Symphony Orchestra on October the 6th. This is his... Uh, there it is, right there. Did somebody steal it already? Yeah. No, it's there. Usually somebody cops a record. This is his latest album. Would you welcome Mr. Glenn Campbell? I was a highwayman Along the coach roads I did ride with sword and pistol by my side Many young maid lost her baubles to my tree Many a soldier shed his life blood on my blade The bastards hung me in the spring of 25 But I am still alive And I was born upon the tide And with the sea I did abide I sailed a schooner round the horn to Mexico I went aloft to furl the mainsail in the blow And when the yards broke off they say that I got killed Across the universe divide And when I reach the other side I'll find a place to rest my spirit if I can Perhaps I may become a highwayman again Or I may simply be a single drop of rain for the folks that get homesick sometimes. You might think there's some big reason why I took this time to write. But cards and letters, they've been too few of those. But I just stopped to realize how long that I've been gone. And there's a few small things I need to know.
Kiss it, Glenn Campbell. Thank you. Thank you, John. You're singing well. Thank you very much. You're really singing good. I appreciate it. You feel like a happy man, right? I am, yes, sir. Yeah. Thank new, you. new fatherhood is what does it. We'll talk about that when we come back. Stay where you are. Oh, that's good. Good stuff. We're talking to Glenn Cameron. Those of you who don't remember, last time you were here, you were just... We talked a lot about newborn babies and changing diapers, and now right. the, your new child is, what, about seven or eight months old? Seven months old. Well, you're and still changing diapers, though, aren't you? No, I quit. When he, uh, he's still breastfeeding, but he started eating the food now, and uh, so I, that, I drew the line there. I said, no. <laughs> uh, when they start eating the real food, the, the whole situation of a diaper change and changes. That's right. Yeah. So you, you turn that over to uh, the wife? Turn that over strictly there. to my wife. Good, good move, good move. <laughs> you take your youngsters up when you work in Las Vegas? Now, this time of the year is not exactly... Uh, temperate climates in Las Vegas. It mm -hmm. gets up to 115 degrees. How do the kids entertain themselves during the day? Or do, uh, they, or do they go along with you? They, yes, they go along with me up there. Uh, we go swimming, yeah. or I'll take Cal out and let him hit golf balls or something. He's two, two years and four months. But, uh, yeah, I play with them a lot. It's, yeah. uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's become a, a year-round place. Years ago, Las Vegas in the summer was not, you know, people didn't go there. Now, mm -hmm. with all the air conditioning, it's become bigger than ever. Mm -hmm. It is. Any of them sing? Any of your kids Cal have is the a talent? Drummer. Yeah, Cal is a drummer, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the two two year four months. He goes around all the time and he, well of course taking him on the road with me. He he loves drums. Right. So he's got drumsticks, you know, and Steve, my drummer, Steve Turner, gave him a set where of drumsticks. Where does he practice? Did you give him a practice pad? Yeah, yeah. But he don't like that pad. He goes straight to the snare drum, you know. Sure. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> That's fun about seven or eight in the morning. Yeah. Well, no, I don't let him do that that time of the morning. Yeah. Didn't you just yeah. make a movie? Yes, I sure did. With the I did the movie because I got to work with Burl Ives. And Burl Ives to me was just, you know, he's a legend. And uh, the stars of the show is actually Mel Tillis and Roy Clark. I just saw up... We talked about that with Mel. Right, uphill all the way. And uh, I said, it's finished now, and Mel's out here. Uh, <laughs> when you... When, dear, I, I learned a lot. you starting long, to talk like Mel, or you just... I do that. You get around it. But it's a good movie. It's called Uphill All the Way. It's a real good soundtrack. <laughs> but I've learned... I learned the hard way about phone bills. When you don't call Mel... Mel calls you and explains it to you. Because it right. takes him a while on the long distance telephone to explain anything to you. you know? I notice on the show sometimes when he's starting, you know, it's no secret that he stutters, and sometimes you start to pick up on it. Mm -hmm. I did. People think you're um, putting him on or something, which you're not doing. No, it's, uh, Mel's a good friend, I have been. But it's a real good movie, starring Mel Tillis and Roy Clark, and Trish Vandiver's in it. Too. Yeah. I know you want to talk about something tonight, and I, I think it's good to mention it. You are doing a, a benefit. Mm -hmm. um, with a lot of uh, great people on it, and it's called the Farm Aid Benefit on September 22nd. It's at the University of Illinois, and, you know, <laughs> nobody... <laughs> no, one, no one cannot be affected or touched by the, by the films of um, the Third World Nations when you see those pictures night after night of all the youngsters starving all over the world. But at the same time, there are a lot of people in this country, and especially the farmers, mm -hmm. who are having a monumentally tough time Right. Because of the interest rates and so forth, and a lot of them are just trying to hang on to their, to, to their farms. Exactly. And uh, we forget sometimes there are people right in our own country that uh, are up against it also and need some help. And let me tell you who's going to be on the bill because uh, along with you, we got Willie Nelson, Kenny Rogers. It says Merle. I Merle assume Haggard. Merle Haggard. You mean yeah. Charlie Pride, Charlie Daniels, Billy Joel, Bob Dylan, mm -hmm. Daryl Hall, BB King. Right. That is a heavyweight lineup. Yeah, Willie. And that's Give the applause to Allie. It's a. That is a. Uh, that is a really good cause. It they, is. Uh, Willie, are... Willie started the whole thing. And, uh, That's great. Because, like, like you said, he knew that there was, something had to be done. But, you know, you see on the news, in fact, they made yeah. two or three movies about it that were big hits uh, right. this past season. And uh, he set up the post office box and, uh, and yeah. got an 800 telephone number. It's you just got 1-800-FARM-AID if you want to make donations. That's, that, that's a good cause. And maybe we'll keep some people from losing their farms. Now, if Willie falls out, give me a call. Okay. Oh, because yeah. I am ready. Do, do all the girls I've loved before. See, I'm right in there. I, I got that. Tell Willie, in case he gets sick, give me a call. <laughs>